Peace be with you, friends, and a happy first day of May. And friends, today is filled with celebrations that literally complement each other. As the Catholic school system today, we begin Catholic Education Week under the theme, We Are Many, We Are One. And through sharing the gospel, we work to build culture and life where Christ is at its center and its foundation. And that brings us to the next celebration, which is the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, which always takes place on May 1st. And as one of the examples of work in our school, today we acknowledge the principals who have their National School Principals Day. So friends, yesterday too, we've kind of had the kickoff for the Catholic Education Week and for our annual Walk with Christ or the pilgrimage. It was so nice to see so many of you participate. So very grateful for that. And today, uh, as the first day of the Catholic Education Week, the theme is when we see. So now, God calls, God calls us to be united and for all God's people to be one. And in all our uniqueness, we are one as created in love by God. We come together with in unity when we see and embrace our differences and all that makes us unique. And for all of that, and for the gift of life, let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, you brought sight to the blind man and you live in our hearts to bring sight to us. Open our eyes to see each other as your children, to appreciate and defend the right and dignity of work, to respect the authority of our principles and support them in their role as our leaders. May we love you, may we love as you love us and appreciate that through the many, that though we are many, we are one. We humbly ask through Christ our Lord, amen. Saint Joseph the worker, pray for us. Saint Thomas More, pray for us. In the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. So if I can have your uh, attention for a couple of seconds, literally just wanted to express my gratitude and thanks to all who make the uh, walk uh, possible. Those teachers who came yesterday, and that is Mr. Daly, Mrs. Barkley, Mr. Sa, Ms. Martires, and uh, Ms., uh, Ca Mr. Catarino, and a, t a student who put all many hours, our very own Rachel Knafleck, whom you see daily on, uh, on the announcements and at the end of the prayer. So thank you to all who participate in the walk. Uh, and the other thing is that today you'll have the over the next few days you have the opportunity to donate. As you know, it's a worldwide fundraiser. So now that we have had our share, it's good to donate, and it will be available and accessible to all of us. Part of the Catholic Education Week activities is to make a, a donation and have some sort of a, a food drive or, or money drive, whatever it may be. So all of us can donate wherever you can. But those who participate in the work yesterday, well, it's good to donate some amount that can make a difference. And one important part is that if you would like to receive a tax receipt, you have to donate at least $25 and indicate that in our cash school online. I think that's all. And the hours that uh, you earned yesterday will be allocated to your account automatically. So thank you once again, and have a blessed day, everyone. Good morning, St. Thomas More. Just got a couple things I want to say to you as we get uh, started on another new week. First of all, uh, Friday was EA Appreciation Day. Because it was a PA day, we weren't able to celebrate it properly. So I'm just encouraging students, if you see an educational assistant in the hallway, make sure you, you know, congratulate them on that and thank, thank them for the good work that they do. Uh, they are very valued members of our team, taking care of many of the most vulnerable. And honestly, they, they, they do a role that allows our school to function properly. And uh, they need to be appreciated. And, and that happened on Friday without any students here. We'll just recognize it today. Secondly, I just want to recognize that we did the 50th anniversary this past week. And if you take anything away from anything that happened at that Mass, I hope you take away an appreciation for publicly funded Catholic education. Uh, which is a unique thing in Ontario. 
Uh, there was a time when it was partially paid, when it was actually funded a lot, a lot through the diocese. We heard a lot about that on Thursday. Um, but now, where are we now? Well, we have a state-of-the-art building, 2,000 students, the best facilities going. Uh, we need to appreciate that, and I hope out of the 50th anniversary, I hope the, the current students got a feel for that appreciation and that you take that going forward. And going forward, you, you, know, you safeguard that and you fight for it because that, there will come a time most likely when Catholic education will be under threat. And finally, I'm gonna tease out an episode of Straight Talk with Mr. Daly Special Edition coming to you period five today. I got something and here's the teaser. I got a hundred thousand dollar, a hundred thousand reasons to make this is a hundred thousand dollar donation and I'm going to tell you about it uh, uh, in period five. Um, and teachers, if that in any way disrupts your class, don't sweat it. We'll put it on YouTube and you can watch it tomorrow if you have a, you know, a test or a quiz or something. Uh, you don't have to watch it. We're going to record it this morning. We're going to play it in period five. And if you happen to miss it, you can watch it on YouTube. But there's a hundred thousand reasons why you should watch it live if you can. Have a great day. Good morning, Stian. Sabah al khair. Buenos dias, Stian. So we're excited to announce the new launch of a club at our school. It's called the English Conversation Club. This club is designed to help English language learners to improve their listening as well as speaking skills in a fun, supportive, and welcoming environment. We invite all STM leaders to join us and become a part of this exciting new community. If you are interested, then join us at our team meeting after school on Wednesday, May 3rd in room 320. Have a great day, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Sarah, and I'm here from your Knights Fighting Cancer. On Friday, May 26th, join your Knights Fighting Cancer outside on our track and turf fields from periods 2 to 5 for a fun relay walk. For a minimum $20 donation to the Canadian Cancer Society, you will be able to participate in this powerful community event as well as receive a t-shirt, food, and drink. Grab your friends to form a team or sign up as an individual. See at STMKFC or scan the QR code on our posters to register. Thanks, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Migueli. And my name is Kiara, and here are your announcements for today. This is a reminder to the girls touch football team of our practice this Friday after school on the turf. With teachers permission, members of the junior boys hockey team are to be dismissed at 1.45 p.m. today. The time has come for the junior girls soccer season opener at Brebuff today at 2.50 p.m. Fan support is always welcome. Please wish your junior nights good luck and girls, let's get it. A message from More Science, there will be a brief meeting after school today in room 333 to finalize events. Please see Ms. Newberry or Ms. Pereira if you're unable to attend. With teacher's permission, members of the junior boys hockey team are to be dismissed at 1.45 today. And now for your sports. The senior boys soccer team played St. Jean de Brough this past Thursday on our home field. The boys were successful and brought home a much needed win and three points. Goals were scored by Jacob Vigna, Matthew Ganacaro, Amadio Rifosco, and Marcelo Fontes. They're back in action tomorrow against ACMT at 4.20 p.m. here at STM. Come support your senior nights. Last Thursday, 85 members of the STM track team participated in the Ray Lewis meet at McMaster University. For their first meet, they posted great results. Honorable mentions go to Juliet Nguyen, who placed second in the para 100 meters. Malik Allen dominated the novice boys 100 meters, placing first in the preliminary and then finishing second overall in the final. Caleb Kowalchuk captured third in the junior 100 meter final. Jeremiah Washington and Jeremy Lemia both qualified for the senior 100 meter final. Jeremiah placed third and Jeremy eighth out of 133 participants. Fantastic results. The coaches are very proud of the effort, encouragement, and excitement of the team. Good luck at the Mark Graham meet this Thursday where our field athletes will have their chance to shine as well. Thanks STM. St. Thomas More, happy National Principals Day. Today is a day to thank our fearless leaders, Mr. Marazzo, Mr. Juba, and Mrs. Mossy. Thank you all for the hard work you do every day to keep the school running. Another huge shout out to someone who never takes a day off, Mr. Daly. Thank you, sir, for all the work you do on the daily to keep things around here happening. If you see your vice principal or principal in the hallways today, be sure to thank them for all the hard work they do. Have a great day, STM. 
STM. Those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.25. And remember, it's a great day to be a knight.